Hey, Denzel, Jerry McDonald from the Bay Area News Group. I think yesterday Coach Gruden called you uh, the Raiders' unsung hero, and Derek Carr just told us you might be your might be their MVP this year. Just curious that – just wanted to get your take on how this season's transpired and the different roles that you've played. D.C. informed me of that on his way out and <laughs> on my way in. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad to be able to uh, be the guy to step up for the team whenever it, you know, it's needed. I don't know if he's – but yeah, I'm glad to be the guy to step up for the team wherever it's needed. Um, that's kind of been my role for the last two years here, and uh, I mean, I mean, I embrace it, you know. But uh, it's been great to, you know, be successful in playing that role and you know stepping into the starting role for this extended amount of time and, and performing. It's been feeling. It's been great. Uh, Denzel, I when I was we were speaking to Josh Jacobs. He, uh, he was saying that uh, this that kind of game, that old school kind of ground game, was just his style. That he was kind of hoping hoping to duplicate it next week and in the future. Would you say that that's what you're hoping for too? You want to? That's the kind of game that you're into, the kind of ground and pound type of game. Yeah, if we can hand the ball off 45 times a game, every game, I would vote for that <laughs> for sure. But uh, that's not always, you know, realistic. But it, uh, it was great to have that kind of a game and had offense take over and make it such an impact. Love it. And then, uh, this is your, your second full season with the Raiders, but all three seasons that you've been here, you know, you've had to step in, you know, due to injuries. Obviously, you don't want to see guys get hurt, but, um, you know, you want to play, of course. But how, how would you describe, you know, the, the overall experience you've had with the Raiders and, and the role you've been able to play when, when they need you? Uh, it's been great, man. I, I felt like, I feel like I'm a respected part of this team. I feel like, uh, you know, the coaches know what to expect out of me. They know what kind of player I am. They know what I can bring to the table. Uh, you never want to see any one of your teammates get hurt, but it's a part of the NFL 100%. So, you know, you just got to prepare for it as best you can. And uh, I feel like we've done a good job, Cable and the offensive line in particular. I've done a good job just being ready for any situation. Hey Denzel, how, how do you make it look so seamless when you move from the outside on the right side to the inside on the left, and you kind of go back and forth? Why is why are you able to make that that transition so smooth and so easy? Uh, <laughs> I think most most in part because it's necessary. You know, you really ain't got no other choice. You know, you got to go out, you got to put your head down, and just go to work. But uh, being that I had experience on the outside, I think that kind of helped just being able to, you know, dip back into that and uh guard is kind of what I am naturally now so it just you know felt good coming off last year I feel like I ended the season pretty strong playing left guard and uh going back to tackle was an adventure but <laughs> you know I'll do it if I have to but it ain't one I want to do too often <laughs> and so you, you guys have gone on the road and, and played uh with, you know without really many fans in the stands um as an offensive lineman uh the communication uh, aspect of it uh, has it changed it a little bit for you guys not having to deal with the crowd noise and if so uh, how uh yeah absolutely we haven't had to do much uh silent count at all you know and then when we first heard crowd noise at uh kansas city you know it was just that first drive we had a, a lot of communication issues that we of course corrected throughout the game but it was just weird just hearing that noise it sounded super loud even though they had about sixteen thousand people but it sounded super loud just like last game but uh, I think we did a good job working through all that, man. It's just, you know, we love playing in front of fans, but no fans makes it even easier for communication. <laughs>